Do you worry way too much about what people think of you? Are you really stressed over how people perceive you? Do you want to stop caring so much? Stop giving an F? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about that. I want to talk about why that is, how that affects communication, how that pushes people away and actually makes them lose respect for you. And how when you start learning to not be so attached to what people think of you, not care so much, not give an F so much, you actually make people more attracted to you. So let's dive right in. But before I do, I want to invite you to subscribe. I want to invite you to like, and I want to invite you to share the video. Now, I used to care a lot about what people thought of me. It was a huge thing for me. I worried all the time. I was stressed all the time over what people thought of me. I, uh, I, I, I could barely leave the house. It stressed me so much. Matter of fact, doing these YouTube videos was horrible. I was terrified of the comments. I was terrified of people making fun of me. And when you worry that much about what people think of you, it really stresses the body and messes with your life. It disconnects you from the people around you. The reason that is, is because you become less vulnerable. The worrying itself, the attachment to the outcome causes you to close off, causes you to wall off your heart, your vulnerability, your emotions, your ability to connect to another human being. You don't let them in anymore because you're so busy trying to get from them, pushing on them that they feel it. And then they want to push back. Think about animals for a moment. If you run towards a, a dog, chase it, it's going to run away. But if you sit down and relax and think about this, open up, open your heart, relax your body. Think about meditation, calming your body. Pretty soon the animals coming closer to you, whether a cat or a dog. And, and pretty soon it's in your lap purring. Well, it's the same thing with people. If you're going out and you're going to bars, you're doing sales, you're connecting to your girlfriend, or your wife, but you're pushing and you want that connection really bad, it actually causes them to back up. But if you're approaching, let's say, a beautiful woman in a bar and you're relaxed and open, you don't want anything from her. It doesn't mean you don't want something. You wouldn't like something to happen, but you're not attached to it. You're not forcing it. You're not chasing it. Then what happens is the conversation goes a lot better. Why is this? Because you're able to let her in at a deep level. You're able to let her into your heart where you actually create feelings. I talk a lot about embodiment. Communication is all embodiment. And when you let somebody into your heart, and this is a literal thing that happens, you feel their emotions in your heart because you relax right here and ultimately down to the stomach, you start to get an emotional feeling about what they're feeling. Sad, hurt, lonely, happy. When you let them into your gut, you get gut instincts about what they're feeling. And this is really powerful when you think about it. This is really potent, okay? Now, what causes us, this is a really important part, what causes us to reject people? What causes us to push people away in the first place or to get super attached to outcome? Why are some people super attached and other people not? Well, this mainly has to do with how you were brought up. You see, the way I was brought up was in really rough parenting. My mother used to shut off her heart to me when she punished me. She would yell, scream, she was bipolar, and she'd shut off her heart and she'd close it up. And she'd punish me, sometimes days at a time, and I'd feel abandoned, I'd feel alone. And, and she'd actually, there were times she threatened to leave. And she threatened that she, she, you know, she's tired of this, I'm gonna leave. It was really an emotional response. And then she'd go into a depression, and I wouldn't hardly see her for days. She wouldn't want to come out of her room. So this made me feel really alone. It made me become a chameleon. I was trying to figure out who to be to make her happy, who to be to get her to like me. But when I started to learn about emotional connection and keeping your heart open, that changed a lot. I had to learn to relax into my body, open my heart a lot more. I had to learn to feel my stomach a lot more. This is where we store so many emotions. The heart has the sadness and the vulnerability. And when you start letting people in, it's a little scary at first because they might judge you, they might abandon you, they might leave you. But the practice of that is huge. And the next step is I started to relax down into my stomach more, which is how many people have gut issues today? That has a lot to do with anger, stored anger, like, and, and your gut instincts. And so when you start letting people down there and you let go of a lot of that anger, you start to get instincts. You know what I think she likes me? I'm gonna step in a little closer, I'm gonna get to know her. And this is why Men that are really relaxed and comfortable with that flowing energy, flowing with other people, become so powerful in the world. Because they're not afraid to step in, step out. They're not afraid to push boundaries because they stay open. Why they do it? So they can feel just how far to push. They can say, you know what, I'm going to step a little closer. And if it's too much, I'll step back as I'm getting to know her. Or in sales, I'm going to take this little risk right now because I feel like this person wants me to ask this question. 
You learn to feel it with your body. It's all about embodiment. This is why I love embodiment and letting go so much and energetic letting go. Because in the letting go, as you let go more and more and more, you actually become more available, embodied for the other person on a communication level. And that's huge. Think about that for a minute. That is huge. Okay. So I want to invite you into this idea that this is an area that you can change. It can affect your relationships with dating, with your spouse, with your partner, with your business, with your employees, with family, with sales. You can really go much deeper. It has a huge impact. I primarily in the past have taught dating, but I'm really teaching these principles at a deeper level to help you shift your reality in the body at a core level. And when I watch a guy go from walled off and he starts to learn to open and be really present with the people around him, it's nothing short of astounding to watch the change. So I wanna invite you into a simple practice, learning to let people in and learning to let go. Just ask yourself, you know, do I really need to worry about what this person thinks of me? Do I really need to make it such a big deal that this person rejected me? There's another beautiful woman down the street. Matter of fact, you're going to find that sometimes when you re when people reject you because you're really honest and solid, the next time when they get over it, they actually respect you more because you set a boundary. So here's the practice. I want you to go out and I want you to find four or five people you need to say something to, whether it's a no or a yes, or you need to tell them something and go for it. Be real. Just keep your heart wide open when you do it. Feel that vulnerability. Don't shut it on the person. Say, no, I don't want to do that. That's not something I've ever wanted to do, or I'm not gonna do that anymore. Or yes, I'd really love to do this with you and keep your heart open. Your job is to let go of the concern for the outcome. Your job is just to drop it. If you really wanna take it a step further, journal it. Some of these people will react right away positively. Some of these people might get a little mad at first because they're not used to you setting boundaries, but then later respect you more for it. I had one guy, the first time I did this, he didn't say anything. I, I called, I was calling people up and being really vulnerable and honest about stuff I felt with them. And he didn't respond to me at all. And I thought that was weird because I had people crying. I had people, uh, you know, because I was really getting open and telling them how much I cared about them. And he didn't respond at all. And the amazing thing was that a week later, I noticed how much more connected we were. He couldn't share it emotionally, but it really connected him. I've had other people, when I set boundaries and say no, get mad at me in the moment and then they get over it and then they respect me so much more later you know for example if you're dating somebody and you're not ready for a commitment you're not feeling it just say no say and own that no with an open heart and say this is not where i'm at be real you might find she gets upset but she sees you as a man later same thing with sales if you're in sales and you need to ask for a price or you need to say, this is the price of this product. You need to keep your heart open and be solid. Don't close off on the person, be real. And you're gonna find the people might hem and ha, move, get weird on you, but then later they'll relax and they'll trust you more because you didn't close off on them like so many salesmen do. They go in their head and they start pushing. So when you stay vulnerable, you stay real, you let people in and it changes everything. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. I wanna invite you to comment. I really wanna hear where you need to work on this because it really helps me, helps the other people in this program. So make sure to check that out and, uh, and let us know where you need to make a change in this area. And definitely be sure to watch my previous video on this about how your thoughts are really messing you up. How it can really actually make you sick, poor, and alone. And that's a story from my good friend, Brad, who was a client, and that'll be posted somewhere right in this video. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, true courage leads to uh, true peace.